Okay, so here we go. Uh, this one is number three on the final. Um, so, in the process of compressing a gas from 5 liters to 2.5 liters under a constant pressure of 1.25 atmospheres, 637 joules of heat is released. What is the change in enthalpy of the system? We're given one conversion factor, which is that one liter atmosphere is equal to 101.3 joules. So, the first thing I like to do whenever I'm calculating things out, or for the most part, uh, is that I like to find out how many sig figs my answer will have. Well, here I have three, here I have three, three, three. Well, chances are my answer will be in three sig figs. Uh, not so important on a multiple choice question, but uh, if you're doing the quiz and you're doing them open-ended, well, then you better sure as hell know three sig figs right over here. This is kind of difficult for me to point at things when this is kind of against, well, my, my TV. Anyway, um, so we know that the change in enthalpy over here is equal to the amount of heat plus the amount of work, right? And we don't know the signs quite yet if we were to just look at this equation. So let's actually determine those signs right now, okay? So the first thing we're given is, uh, all right, we have this amount of heat is released. Well, released means it should be negative. So our Q should be negative here. So let me actually see if I can do this while staring at my iPad. Uh, there we go. There's a negative. Uh, let me just not do that staring at my iPad, okay? Now work, we're gonna have to figure, we're gonna have to split this up, right? Because we're given pressure and we're also given um, a change in volume here, right? So let's actually take a look at that. Well, let's break down work. We know that work is equal to negative P change in V, right? So that's negative pressure in atmospheres times the volume in liters, okay? So if we plug in this value for W into our heat plus work, right? We are gonna get the change in enthalpy is equal to heat minus P change in V, okay? So let's plug this all in, but first, all right, well, our volume's actually going to be negative, isn't it? Because it goes from something bigger to something smaller, so it's going to get smaller, right? So our change in volume is going to be, uh, is going to be negative, and our pressure is not, it's not going to change. We have 1.25 atmospheres, okay? Um, so, Let's actually plug in all of our numbers. We said that we have 637 joules released, so that's negative 637. And we're, I'm, I'm just gonna keep the plus sign here, okay, and then just plug in for W. So everything that should be W is within this, well, the, I guess this one bracket. I forgot to put another bracket here. Uh, so we were given 1.25 atmospheres, okay, so we have 1.2 atmospheres. Uh, well, of course we have a negative here because it's negative P change in V, so we have 125 atmospheres times the change in volume, so that's 2.5 liters minus 5 liters. And then our answer here will be negative whatever atmospheres uh, times liters, right? Or liters atmospheres. So we're going to use this conversion factor here where we know that for every liter atmosphere we have 101.3 uh, joules, okay? So we have uh, we're going to multiply this by 100 point, uh, sorry, 101.3 joules, right? We're just going to multiply that. So our answer here will be in joules. We'll add that to negative 637 and we'll get negative 320 joules.